Ideally, you have one in every house you play in because, well, awkward if you don't. We're of course talking about bathrooms and we're going to look at 9 quick ideas or tips to help make your bathrooms that little bit more exciting. Sit down, get comfortable, ideally not on a toilet but no judgement and let's get into it. First up, we're talking about custom showers and shower screens. For this, you're ideally going to want to have access to a shower that doesn't come with a built-in screen, such as the showers from the Snowy Escape or the Discover University expansion pack. Now for a simple DIY shower, place the shower against a wall in a corner and then build a wall alongside it, closing it off in a kind of U shape. Once you've done this, then just add a floor to ceiling window onto the wall to act as a shower screen. It really is that simple. You can take this a step further and create twin showers too, as you can have a shower on each side using two tiles and then one or two open tiles with no walls as a means of getting into the shower. Also, keep in mind that depending on the space, you can make your showers one tile wide or for a more luxurious feel, go for two tiles wide. Still on the topic of custom showers, can't get enough of them, we're just loving that hygiene life. If you have a corner with a short diagonal wall, then there's another option that works really well. You can place the shower on the diagonal wall and then literally wall around it like a small room, adding windows as screens and a door to get in. This corner shower is technically its own room, but I quite like it, especially as a feature in larger bathrooms. Before we move on, note that as you're using low quality showers to make these custom showers, I do recommend having a sim with a high handiness skill come along and upgrade them too, just to make the bathroom function that little bit better. Okay, we're moving on from DIY showers. I know, devastating news. We're going to look at two very quick tips for toilets now. The first of which is to add a small half wall alongside it as a kind of nib wall to hide it from view. Yes, we are loving that privacy. The second idea is that if you have a single bathroom for a larger family, you can separate the toilet from the main bathroom, meaning that sims can shower or bathe while leaving the toilet free for others to use. We're looking at bathtubs next. The first hot and steamy tip is to build up platforms around the tub, making it almost look inbuilt. This is great as it allows for a bit of a scene around your bathtub, whether it be with plants, soaps or candles. Another option is to add two small walls to either side of the bathtub, which can help section the area and make it feel that little bit more private. Moving on to the fourth idea now, which is to play around the idea of an indoor-outdoor bathroom, where part of the space is outside. I feel this works best when the outdoor area you're turning into a bathroom is very private, such as looking off of a cliff or at least away from other buildings. This can make a bathroom feel rather luxurious and romantic, especially if you put the toilet and sinks indoors but have the bathtub facing a stunning view outside. The next idea is actually more applicable to lots such as nightclubs, and it's to make a communal sink area. This works great for if you have multiple little single bathrooms for people visiting the lot, and it can just make for a little bit of a different atmosphere when compared to usual bathrooms. We're looking at lighting next. It can make a massive difference to the look and feel of bathrooms and rooms in general. For example, you might want a bright white light or alternatively, you could want something a bit moodier. Clicking on lights can see you change both their color and intensity. Candles can also be a great option for a more romantic feel and another thing to consider is those square lights that can dimly light the floor area. Rather like yourself, I just think they're a bit cool. Creating a feature wall is next, especially when it's a backdrop for a well-placed bathtub. A feature wall can help add a point of interest and a sense of luxury. This could be changing up the wall tiles, or it could be a huge piece of art, or even a wall feature like wooden vertical slats. Next up is additions that add gameplay. For example, you might want to add a TV to your bathroom that Sims can watch while having a bath. If you have the Spa Day game pack, then you can also consider putting in the drinks tray for Sims to enjoy a drink, or the mini dispenser fridge where Sims can purchase and apply facial masks for that perfect self-care lifestyle. Now for the final idea, which is to consider an ensuite that you can see into from the bedroom. I feel like this is more suited to luxury homes, and of course you only want to do this for private areas in homes. This definitely works better for larger bathrooms, especially ones that can fit a hot tub or at least a luxury bathtub inside them. 
In this case, a short half wall to hide the view of the toilet from the bedroom is definitely a good thing to consider. And we've reached the end. That's nine quick tips or ideas to help you make your Sims bathroom even better. If you have any awesome bathroom tips or ideas of your own, then I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.